What's up, everybody? It is Mr. and Mrs. Bradley coming to you with yet another video. All right, guys, so today's topics were actually brought to us by you today. We got a couple of people who asked us a couple of questions, so we wanted to dive into those real quick. But before we get into the video, let's get the other stuff out the way. First of all, if you have a topic for us that you would like us to address in one of these videos, feel free to send us an email, put it down below in the comments. You can DM us on Instagram, any of that stuff. And we do look at every single comment and every single message and we'll definitely find a way to incorporate it. So let us know down below um, or on one of those other venues if you do have a question or a topic that you'd like us to address. And if it's your first time watching, make sure you subscribe to our channel, Bradley Party of Six. Also make sure you're following us on social media and everybody watching this, please smash that like button. It really helps us out yes 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 so today's topic well we got two questions i should say it shouldn't be today's topic because it's a couple of questions i'm just gonna knock those out because we I don't think we ever done anything like this where we had like questions we have people who want to speak us to speak on topics but never like questions like this so i think we've had one or two questions i think we have i know people want to address topics but so nonetheless here, the question was it was a um young lady who emailed us gonna keep the names secret but she said that um, her and her significant other have been together uh, for about four years. And the topic of marriage has not come up. Now, keep in mind, I'm paraphrasing. The topic of marriage has not come up, but he wants a baby. What does she do? You want me to start that off? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Say absolutely not. First of all, okay, let's start from the beginning. Let's, let's pull it all apart. Did you say how old they were? No, she just, she didn't, she didn't say how would that is. Okay, so let's pull it all apart. Because she just I, said they've been together for four years. The topic of marriage has not come up. So, one, I would say in four years, depending on how old you are, how has the topic not come up? Like, if you're 18 or something, that's a different story. But if you are a fully grown adult, how's the topic of marriage not come up in four years? Like, are you saying that he just not has brought marriage to the table yeah, saying that like he maybe, wants maybe to do it or, like, or have you guys you know, also i was gonna say or have you guys just not talked about it because in four years you all should have talked about you know marriage in some capacity i would assume that because most people hell 18 year olds talk about marriage so i'm maybe, I'm, maybe he just saying like he hasn't like talked about like getting married to her or setting a date or anything like that so um if that's the case if we're both on the same page that we would like to get married eventually. I don't understand why we can't wait to have a baby until that happens. Well, let's be transparent because everybody loves our transparency here. So we actually um, were and did actually conceive a baby before we got married. Um, and we- uh, And we planned it. We planned it. And we were not in the greatest of positions as far as our relationship goes. If you guys seen some of our other videos, when CC got pregnant. That don't mean it was a good idea though. And that don't mean that's why I'm sitting here saying what I'm saying. That don't mean it was a good idea. We ended up miscarrying, so we didn't we didn't carry that baby. But that is why I can sit here and say, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that was a good idea. I mean, I thought it was, apparently, I thought it was some kind of good idea then, but I do not think that is a good idea looking back. I don't think it would have helped us. I think it would have hurt, hurt us. And I don't know if we'd have been here today. That's very true. That is, I mean, that's some very, because I remember, so, that was a rough time. We this ain't a miscarry. This ain't a video about a miscarry. We had dressed in this topic. But I remember, like, we crazy, not crazy enough, but we'll, to give some more transparency, we actually had set a date. We actually had talked about getting married in, like, um, 2013. I think it was, like, yeah, 2013. Yeah, we got married in 2012. Yeah, yeah. it was so probably we, 2013. So we had talked about getting married in, like, 2013. And it was, like, a two-year, two, two-and-a-half-year plan that we was, like, all right, we're going to get married in a couple of years. And CC, we, we talked about baby and having a baby beforehand. And then when we lost the baby, I was like, maybe we should, maybe this is a sign that we should just, we need to get married first 
and then have the baby. And that's another thing. Let's talk about getting married because I feel like a lot of people plan and prepare for getting married. So the reason we were waiting until this was like 2011 right. when all this went down. This the reason we were waiting until 2013 to get married was because we needed to save up money so we could have a wedding. Right. So it wasn't really about getting married. It was more so about having a wedding. The wedding is fun. One it's of my big, favorite days it's a big party. ever in my life. It was a good time. We're planning another one. It was a great, it was a great time. However, that is probably the least important day in your marriage. Okay? Yeah, it takes all of like 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes. Literally, we talked about this. It tucks like the whole actual nups, nuptials, what that's the nuptials mm -hmm. takes like five minutes from the the pastor or or the judge to say, do you take her? Do you take him? I now pronounce you man and wife. That takes five minutes. You can go down to the justice center and get that done. You don't have to go through like this whole big ordeal in order to get married. And I think that's what most people are planning for. And they're like, oh well, I don't I don't have the money for this wedding or blah 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 blah. Well, one, if you don't have the money for a wedding, you probably don't have the money for a kid because kids are expensive. expensive. <laughs> so we, that's something to think about right there, okay? <laughs> if you ain't got the money to pay for the wedding, you ain't probably got the money for the kid. I'm just saying. But So your what? advice to this young lady, what would you tell her? Absolutely not. Do not do it. What would you, so what, so what would be your advice to her as far as like, how do you break this to him? How do you tell him this? Don't and don't be so cruel, cause we know how you just like ah, like every we substance being real, and this is a real person with feelings, not like you just being blunt and da da da. Like this is a real man. This is her man. He has feelings. This is what he wants. How would you explain this to him? Well, hopefully, I would say hopefully you all have had conversations about marriage in general. And the fact that you do want to get married and you do want to be with this person for the rest of your life. Because I would figure out, uh, one, I would figure out what his reservations are. Okay, no. One, I would say, I really don't want to have a baby before I'm married. It's just not what I want to do. Then two, I would figure out the reason he is looking to have a baby and be tied to someone that he hasn't even tried to be tied to spiritually. Like, why are you trying to tie yourself to me with the baby, but you're, are you not ready to get married? Like, are you I saying was, you're not ready to get married? Because you're not ready to get married. We're definitely not ready to have a baby. I always find that so funny on, like, stuff like court shows and, like, seeing people comment on, like, Facebook. Like, guys would be like, oh, I wanted to have my kid. But I ain't ready to get married. Like, dog, that's a... You talk about a lifetime commitment. That's... A kid is a lifetime. You are tied to that person for the rest of your life. You can get out of that marriage if you want. You want to. Yeah, like, you can never... Y'all gonna always have that kid together. You'll never be able to get out of that. So, you talk about a lifetime commitment. That's a lifetime commitment to somebody. But you ain't ready to settle down and be with, like... That's always funny to me. So, yeah, I mean, I would say the same thing, like... If you ain't, if you ain't ready, one, if you ain't ready to have a kid yet, let them know, hey, I'm not ready to have a kid. And two, hey, I want to be married. Like, I think that the being up front is, is, is huge with that stuff, so. I think that's, and I think that's perfectly acceptable if you're just like, I would rather, I would feel more comfortable having a baby with you if, you know, we had that commitment and we were married. And if he's not ready to get married, then he's certainly not ready to have a kid and you certainly should not have one with him. Again, all all thoughts and beliefs of are those of Mr. and Mrs. Bradley. Don't legally hold us to any of this advice that we given. So, <laughs> um, the other topic, the other not topic, the other question that we had, um, which I thought these kind of was like two two questions that was kind of like little little off from each other, which I thought was interesting too. Was there was a girl, another young lady who reached out to us. Obviously, most of you guys know that this top this this channel is mostly followed by women. So, but had asked us stated that um her and her, her significant other have been together for about um I think she said like eight years, and um they were college sweethearts, and she's into her career now, and that um 
she's been working in her career field for like three or four years, I think she said, and that um, he's still trying to find his way into his career. So she's been working, and she's kind of like, I guess, sounds like from what it's, again, I'm paraphrasing, sounds like she's the breadwinner, and he's like, does little odd jobs on the side to keep, you know, some money coming in, but at what point does she go and tell him, like, hey, um, I need you to go get a, a real job? Right now. <laughs> Here we go. They're all over. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> right now. He needs to go get a job. Okay, no. Let's start over. Let's unpack it. So, one, I would say it depends on what type of... Did you say he in school? She said he was in school. They, they was in, she's been in her field. She she They graduated. She's been in... I shouldn't say grad. She's been in her career field but he for about four or five years now, and that he's still in school. Okay. Trying to, trying to get his <laughs> career path going. So I guess it would depend on, I would assume he's not in medical school because I feel like that's something you would have said. And you wouldn't have this problem if someone was in med school because you would know like this part, this is going to, you know, they're working towards something and it's going to come out on the other side. So I feel like it's probably not a medical school situation because if it was a medical school situation, I would say, okay, I think it'd be really, really hard to hold down a job and go to like something like medical school or, or law, law school. school. Something like that. I feel like it would just be really hard to hold down a job. That being said, I was a full adult when I got my MBA. And, and it, it was, was rough. rough. It was rough on our relationship. It was rough to hold down a job getting my MBA. I had a full-time job. I was in my career, but I went back to school to get my master's degree. And it was a very hard to do that. I had a, I was pregnant during the yeah. last piece of it. I planned a wedding during it. And it was a lot. But I did it because my family needed to eat. I, and that's And that's that. I'm not going to put the burden of my schooling unless we're in some sort of comfortable, really comfortable position where I don't have to work. I'm not going to put the burden of my schooling or unless, like I said, it's going to be like a lawyer, a doctor where we know that on the other side of it, we're going to like, there's going to be some significant changes happening. I'm not going to put that burden on the other person to work like a dog to put me through school. I mean, when I could work myself. It, it's going to be tough, but I can work it. It's, it's layers, again, there's layers to this. It's like kind of like, well, when you say, like, financial burdens are hard. When you're talking about, like, you carrying the majority of the bills, regardless of odd jobs or not, you're carrying the majority of bills. That's a lot. Strenuous, strain, most strains in relationships, I feel like, come from money. And like, money strains are, are big, but obviously money ain't everything, because... Obviously, Bill Gates just announced that he's getting divorced, so money ain't the end all be all of he also everything. He gave his wife two billion dollars. Oh, it's in only stocks. two billion. No, oh. for right now, he gave oh. her two billion dollars in stocks. So. I mean, I'm just saying, money isn't everything. So just because you got money doesn't make the relationship go. No. I was just using that as an example, but I mean, if I was her, or vice versa, if it was the man, because even if from a man, like. If I need help, I need help. I feel like she got to express that to him. Like, hey, I need help. Yeah. I, need I had help. to say that to you. Like, at not about money, but like stuff around the house. house. Yeah. I had to say that to you. And I just had to be like, look, I need some help around here. Like. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's, again, that's like, he, she has to go to him and put it out on the table. Like, look, I know what you're doing. And obviously, I've been riding with you for a long time. And I am riding with you through this whole thing. But you need to work. But I need you to get a job. Like today. You. <laughs> I've already circled some in the paper. <laughs> but at the same time, I like, it's so, like, that's such a hard thing because I don't, well, how would I say, I don't want to offend anybody, but it was like, if you're talking about his rap career or something like that, like, you gotta, like, you gotta be like, at what time to let it go, but that, I don't want to get too deep on this video, but that goes back to the a movie, me and her always, no matter how many times we discuss it, we've like four years removed from acrimony, and we still argue about 
the substance so of that movie. So y'all remember Acrimony <laughs> with Taraji? He had him remember? And she was with the man. And I'm like, she was with the guy. He was working on his dream that whole time. But in that whole process, he like destroyed her. Like she was working and put all the bills and everything was on her back. He like ran through her family's money and then because he was cheating on her when they was younger, which I mean, this was her fault. She shouldn't have like ran the car into the, the house, but she did and she ran the car into the house and he was cheating on her and, and then she couldn't have kids. So he kind of like, like in her eyes, which I understand why she felt like that her entire life was like destroyed her spirit was broken like everything her life was like destroyed at that point and then he blew he did after then, chasing his dream he never gave up and then on his after, dream yeah uh, at his, my expense his, but though not, you didn't have to stay that's what you I, don't have to stay that's what i would say to this young lady too you don't have to stay if he doesn't want to do what you i'm just saying do. i see why she went crazy <laughs> I understand why she went crazy. I ain't saying it was right. She but just I, gave her millions he of gave dollars. Her, he gave her $10 million, but he also took 20 years, her ability to have kids. He, <laughs> he didn't take her ability to have kids. Her. That's on her. He that was, was cheating on her. on her. He was, well, not was, but he did cheat on her that one time. That was really, really young. Yeah, they were. They were. But it started there. Ran through all her family's money. And he gave it all back and then some. And bought After her. she and was all and bought the house back that he lost for it. But sometimes you can't like that. That was twenty years. I get like you can't buy back my twenty years. Given bringing bringing in full full circle. Can't do that. I understand. Bringing in full circle is you can't put your hat. I think that whole thing is like you can't put your happiness on another. I agree with that because I've been left his ass. Yeah, you can't put your happiness on another person. And speaking it for this situation here, if you have discussed with him. Or her, vice, whatever, because I think this scenario can go either way. And they don't want to do right or do what you need them to do. You gotta go. Now, again, what you can what you can handle and sustain is is completely up to you. I don't know that. We don't. You can't. I don't think anybody can say that because I think that's the the big thing we talk about. Not one of the things we've talked about when it comes to cheating. People always be so like quick to be like, oh, if my significant other cheat on me, I'm gone. Like. It's easy to say that when you're not in a situation and it's not real and you don't have somebody who love you love and you in that situation. Like you don't it's easy to say that then. Mm-hmm. Just like it's easy to be like, oh, he ain't working or he ain't give bring nothing to the house. I'm leaving him. No, that's pretty easy to say. That's not you easy to go. say. Cause I'm, no, that's, that's not easy, that's easy to say. say. Cause you looked at me and I said this, I think I said this in other videos, looked at me dead in the face and I wasn't bringing the income in. He's like, hey, you ain't got you ain't doing what you need to be doing. You ain't got the drive and passion that you used to have. And you ain't leave me. You wasn't, it, it was, you were bringing income in. I just felt like you had lost your way for a minute. And I had to tell you that. But you didn't. I didn't like it. <laughs> but you didn't leave. And I was making substantially less than my earning potential. But as soon as I said that, you got on it. Yeah. I mean... I'm like again, I would tell this young lady is I would have a conversation. Uh, again, we our biggest we should be like them Bradleys hashtag them Bradleys hashtag communication because we end every video with like talking about communication and and talking to the person. I feel like that's what you got to do. You got to let them know, hey, I need you to work. I need some extra. We need some money coming in the household, and I can't do it all by myself. I know you got this career you're going for, but I need you to do more. I hope it's not a rap career. <laughs> And if it is, he could be the next Jay-Z. Well, I hope that happens. I hope that works out for you. I feel the shade. It's like really breezy over here. I felt the shade on that one. <laughs> anyway, let's go do it for this video. Into the next one is Mr. And this is Bradley. Checking out. <laughs> Peace.